new, 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 new. Okay. Uh, so that's another exciting new song yeah. today. So uh, a couple of things in it's the new product world. Um, we have the new product newsletter. I'm signed and, up. And you have to have an Adafruit account. You have to try really hard. You, you have to. to you have to tell us you want to sign up. You cannot yeah. sign up by accident. You have to click things. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't take Ambien and sign up. I would. I would <laughs> click it when you're nice and sober. You're sure you want to sign up. Yeah. Sign up. You'll yeah. get a weekly update of the mm-hmm. new products. It's kind of like this video, without my beautiful singing. Yeah. So we got that going on. It's working out. Um, first up, coming soon. We have uh, a limited run of makes, and we're putting it in the store, and it'll be signed. By Lady Ada. And the ones that we have in the store, um, you can't tell very easily, but it doesn't have the UPC code. So, yeah. like, it's even more, like, neck, I guess. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be signing each one. Uh, get, yeah. It's the same cost as getting on the newsstand, but uh, actually four cents less. And um, I'll sign, I sign each one. Yeah. Me, the human. Folks asked for it, so we're going to have a limited yes. number in there. Okay. Next up, we have another book. The Martian. This is actually I read this book. It's by Andy Weir, and it's, it became a movie as well. I actually, watched. I, I read the book after you watched the movie, and I was like, "It looks like a cool movie." And I heard the book was good. I checked it out, and you really like um, the egg, which is another story that this fellow wrote. Yeah, pretty is, much the, one of the best science fiction stories ever written by humans that I've read is the egg. The egg. Also, yeah. it'll you, mess you up. You can Google it. Yeah. But after the you've read, it's excellent to one another. It's excellent. It's. Uh, <laughs> After you've read the short story and you're like, wow, I really like this author. You want to read The Martian. So we're carrying this actually um, recommended by our CFO because she yeah. said, I think her, her kids at school, they're learning The Martian. And instead of having the book, the, the reason that we they have wrote this, a book report. They wrote, you can write a book really report good. about it. But cl- teachers want to teach this or parents want to teach this to their kids because it has like a really good chemistry and mechanical engineering and, and science and physics and, and math in it and electronics even. Um, including some things you shouldn't do with electronics. There's a little bit of an electronic mistake that occurs in the book, which doesn't doom our protagonist, but that sets him back a little bit. Yeah. Um, but this edition has less swearing in it. <laughs> uh, so if you're an adult, uh, you want the swearing version, pick up that version. Um, if you're a teacher and you want it uh, introduces to a young person, um, or if you're in a household that doesn't uh, read swears that much, or you just want to read it without the swears, you got. I think it's a it's, it's, it's a it's a hard sell to make a curriculum. Yeah. If they're swearing, yeah. I mean, kids are going to swear no matter what. I know. I know. I get it. I yeah. get it. It's just it's this is just a, it's super easy. They just you know cleaned up a little bit of the the, the words in it, and uh, it's all got the same science. Yeah. The science is top notch, and there's also some discussion at the end. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's questions and answers. No, and super cool. Topics. So it's cool. It's a good book. Okay. Next up. Update. We have a new version of the electron, uh, particle electron uh, tracker pack. Uh, this version has a new, better GPS. Instead of my version, which has an ultimate GPS module, they used a U blocks. Uh, you can see it in the photo with all the, the parts, the second one. Yeah. You can see at the bottom there. It's an almost identical design, um, but uh, it has a different. Um, U-block sensor and it's like a four-layer design, uh, but pretty much almost the same, pretty much looking thing. Um, and I think you can attach an external antenna as well. So check that out. Okay. It is the updated particle electron asset tracker pack. Next up. Also updated, the SHT31D humidity sensor. These are actually pretty good um, humidity sensors. They're SHT sensors, they're well known. This is the first I squared C one. Finally, they made an I squared C one. The previous ones were all this like weird bit bang protocol. Uh, we've carried this for a bit. We've updated this. It now has that white PTFE filter. It's the uh, it's a Teflon filter that goes over the sensor, and so it still can measure humidity and temperature. But instead of having like a hole, because you know the the, the um, chip is exposed. Um, and the problem is, if you have it in too humid an environment, it can damage the chip, and so people would end up doing that or their particles would get in there dust would get in there it now has a filter so the humidity could still get through and reach the sensor but uh it's less likely to get dirty or get damaged it's a nice so, update same price but i think just better overall more filtery more filtery okay that's the update okay and then we've got um a bunch of these buttons so i'm just gonna go through and show the animations for or the videos yeah while you get set up yeah that's red that's blue yeah. That's white. 
So these are, they're actually, we had very similar buttons recently. These are 30 millimeter sized arcade buttons. We had the 24 millimeter ones, which are really small. These are like kind of standard arcade button sized, but they have uh, LEDs built in. They have two surface mount LEDs and a little circuit board with a resistor inside. And so they're very, very easy to hook up for lighting. Uh, you can PWM them with your microcontroller. Um, you know, I have them hooked up here to uh, mm -hmm. an Arduino. Uh, just connected to, oh, connected to a PWM output. I'm using our little um, f uh, quick clips. Press it. And uh, you, press can, you can press the button. You can see it's a nice clicky button. It's not too clicky. It's like, soft, but you know you've pressed it. And then on the bottom, um, there's the two contacts for the button and two contacts for the LEDs. So there's two LEDs you can see like right here. It, but it diffuses quite well. And then um, you can add another resistor to make it dimmer. You power it from five volts. We've got a blue one as well. Let me hook up the blue one. See the blue one is nice, nice and blue. And then we also have red. We don't have yellow or green quite yet because the ones we got weren't that great, um, but we'll work on getting that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we have red, white, and blue for now, which is a good way to get started. So these are good. Uh, these are um, also a lot longer than the 24 millimeter ones. These will, can fit into almost any thickness, uh, yeah. almost up to an inch, um, maybe three quarters of an inch thick plywood uh, or metal or whatever. And uh, they have a, a nice lip. So even if your hole isn't drilled perfectly, they cover it up and they look really good. So great for arcade projects, accessibility projects, modifications, mm -hmm. hacks, control panels. Okay. Great buttons. And the star of the show tonight besides um, you, Lady Ada, is the new My Mini Race Car. This is our My Mini Race Car. This is a update and mod to our like Adabox 2 robot. And it's our little metal butt rover kit. I really love this enclosure. It's a really great chassis. It's got two great Oops. motors. Sorry. This is also a good book. That was a good book. Good book. I just wanted to get back and visit it again. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a three layer robot. It's got two really good quality motors. Uh, two wheels, a, a balance point. Um, we've got a spot for battery holder. And then on top, we can fit in um, the half size breadboard and a feather. In this case, we're using a 32U4 feather blue fruit. So it has Bluetooth control and you can use it with the Arduino IDE. So this is really easy to program. Um, you can add like all sorts of sensors, outputs. We have a bunch of hacks. You can add sonar to it. You can add wall detection. Uh, you can add bump sensors. Um, what we've added to it is a uh, TE sensor. So TE is helping us sponsor this kit project pack. And um, we wanted to emulate basically what a, a Formula E race car is, which is an electronic car, uh, electric motor car. It's not gas powered, it's all electric, which is pretty neat. And this is an electric car too. Um, and uh, we don't have a really intense motor. Um, we have little motors, but we did add a sensor just like you would have in your uh, engine compartment or under the hood of your uh, formula car. Mm -hmm. This one does humidity and temperature. It's a TEHU21DF, uh, which also has this really nice um, Teflon filter. It's, it's actually one of the first ones we got with the, the Teflon filter. So it's a really good quality sensor, which I've liked and we've carried for a bit. And so uh, using our app, you can control it while also getting telemetry data back over Bluetooth. So you know the temperature of uh, your robot and the humidity. So you can use it to, um, for example, uh, you know, you can drive it outside and measure the temperature of the sidewalk or the tarmac, which is um, how a lot of race cars determine what wheels to use based on the, the heat and humidity outside, they might change uh, to a different rubber composition to get better grip on the racetrack. So that kind of that's kind of stuff that you can simulate with this robot pack. So this is as close as you can get without uh, getting a $5 million race car. This yeah. is a, a lot uh, more affordable. This is a starter and you one. Can, you can drive it in your home and it works with Android and uh, iOS. Yeah. So you can use anything with Bluetooth, yeah. your tablet or your phone to control it. You can make your own RC electric race car. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada, that was a new products. Good work. Huzzah!